Welcome back. What a treat it's been so far here on your Feel Good Breakfast show, Expresso Live on SABC3, as we delve straight into Human Rights Day, celebrating that, but also celebrating spoken word poetry. Now, in the wake of South Africa's Human Rights Day and World Poetry Day yesterday, we're being joined today by young poets who have been featured in this amazing book. It's a new book, Yesterdays and Imagining Realities, an anthology of South African poetry. It's fantastic. And with us now sharing her poem as well as uh, her journey with us and her journey with poetry uh, is Zizi Po Bam. Zizi Po, good morning. It's so good to have you here. Good morning. Uh, what a you treat, so yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> it really is awesome. Zizi, I was chatting to you earlier, obviously. Uh, it was good to have that brief moment just before we got you on the studio. But I've got to ask firstly, before we, we tuck into it, your passion for writing, your, your enthusiasm, yeah. where does it come from? And, and to, to end that off with, how did it lead to you even getting to this point where you made yeah. the submission? Wow, uh, thank you. I think that navigating the, the world as a young black woman can be tough, uh, especially in this country, uh, in the continent as a whole. And poetry is a tool that I've used to sort of make sense of the world and to really try to document and reimagine a reality for myself. So mm. it's definitely something that the moment I realized that I was good at it, I just started to hone and to nurture the skill even more. And I've never stopped. Um, so I eventually decided to make the submission when Impepo Press made uh, the open call. And it was such a, a, a weird coincidence because I had the poem written down already mm. and then n n sort of noting what the requirements that they were looking for in the theme of the book itself, everything just sort of made sense. So I was just like, let's Alignment. just go for it. And yeah. it fell into place. Your yep. submission, I mean, really has received such raving reviews. It's called A Metaphor for Africa. Uh, which you have to, have to perform for us. In of fact, course. the stage is yours. Please do deliver and share uh, these words with the country. Thank you. So this is called A Metaphor for Africa. I know what it feels like to be empty. I have felt the gruesome stare of insufficiency. It has burrowed holes deep enough to accept this nothingness you have claimed for me. I know the voice of poverty. It has called me by my name and all the isms that come with it. I can tell the rising inflictions of pity in your questions and I do not need a breakdown of my own shortfalls. I have collapsed enough empires to know how far up my spine stretches, how low into the soil my roots dig and how many borders my blood has crossed only to spill on the other side of the river. I have not come for that. There's a song of courage at the bottom of my belly, humming itself into a thunderstorm. I'm a natural disaster of rage rumbling from within. My mind is a nimbus cloud of reasons to exhale your patronizing charity. I have drowned in the Nile of my tears each time you dared to call me third world greedy. Each time you beat your drum, my arid heels cracked open. The muscles of my Victoria snapped and tore. Brittle and old have become of my bones. You have drunk me empty. You have preached false hope to my people. Your kind of Judas sold me nothing but dreams with starving children on postcards. You have romanticized my ruggedness. You have called my pigment primitive and lured my people into your machine. You cannot erase the smell of incense from our memory. My courage is a boiling pot of herbs to cure the vanity you have drilled in me. I am washing away the shame you have felt for me. I have come to collect the remains of my people, the stories you have tried to tell on my behalf and the songs I have sung to teach you my tongue. From now on, clap it out if you still cannot pronounce my clan names, but do not call our fathers the man in the green blanket. My tongue weighs the entire ocean in my mouth. My tongue is a wave. Each time I want to speak, the Tina River of my Klosa, as washed out by the Pacific Ocean English I have been taught to swim in. I am drowning. There is no Zulu or Sutu or Bedi word for life jacket. I have no name here. You twist my ancestors inside out and you turn them into cloaks of burden for my shoulders. 
I have grown sores on the mountains of my back because of this war with myself. My heart is a shattered dime soaking in the monsoon of your fragile luxury. I have written this poem into eternity, but you have failed to read between these lines. You have forgotten much too early for your kind. So I am saving this last ounce of brewing just cup of justice to drink from the cup of justice and save myself from you to save this country and her body a reincarnation, to be here, to live here, home. Thank you. Wow, Zizipo. Oh. Goosebumps, honestly, all over. <laughs> Such powerful wow. association. Your metaphors sure. speak yeah. so much more than just a word. I was literally taken into some form of a struggle and some form yes. of an oppression there that for me just speaks of this this need to be liberated, this need yeah. to be emancipated. And I can feel that energy in every single word that you're presenting to us. And I can't be ever grateful for that. Thank you so, so much. Thank Tubbs, you. man. That, that, really, that is really incredible. Mm. There is something about poetry that really does force you to be very reflective, right? In a world that is so busy and there's so much noise going around. When you do take that pen and you put it to paper, it really must get you zoning in, eh? Yep, absolutely. I mean, I wrote this poem it's, it's about finding home. Mm. It's about uh, finding one's freedom. Mm. And it's specifically about Africa because I love my continent. Yes. I love my people. That comes through. Yeah. It comes across. Absolutely. Zizi Pobam, you are absolutely incredible and such a talent. Thank you very much for sharing Thank that you. with us and for sharing that with South Africa. Of course, World Poetry Day yesterday. So many reflections for us to take inspiration and draw inspiration from. And of course, this young lady over here is one that you're going to be needing to read all about because you're going to be seeing all of her work all over the world pretty soon. Of course, uh, the information is available online. That website is uh, mpepopress.co.za uh, for all of the information you need about yesterday and all of these poets. We love your work. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much.